Hello everyone. Welcome into my craft space. Today I just wanted to share with you this fun little booklet I am making out of book page. I used the 12 Days of Christmas stamps. They are uh, from Australia. I'm not really sure how to uh, get them, but um, I acquired them from someone else. So that's that. Uh, but you can do this with any stamp or any image. And I just wanted to share with you that if you don't have watercolors or fancy alcohol pens or whatever, you can still have fun coloring in your items uh, with just your distress inks and some water and an acrylic block. So all I've done here is just smoosh some ink on the block and spritzed it with a little bit of water and I'm able to color these images in. And I just love the look, it is so much fun. And you can do as much or as little as you like. You can also use a uh, water brush pen instead of spritzing your ink with water. Um, I do have some of those. They look like this. These ones are by Stampin' Up. They're just little blending pens. And you fill them with water and then instead of having to get your ink or your brush wet, you just uh, use the water pen to release water. But again, you don't have to have anything fancy to do this, just your ink. Um, an acrylic block and some water and I am loving the look of it here. I'm going to go ahead and go over all these numbers with red on the outside and then I've been doing green on the inside of the numbers and I think it is just so super fun. I am uh, making a journal in part of the A to Z of Christmas Craft. And if you haven't seen that, definitely check out the video. I will link it in the description box below of uh, my journal. This is going to be my little journal that's gonna go inside the book and will also help to uh, recognize the 12 days of Christmas in case I miss anyone. Uh, there are some amazing YouTubers, junk journalers, paper crafters, taking part in that collaboration and making some just absolutely stunning and beautiful things. So if you haven't checked it out, definitely do that. There's going to be some giveaways. Uh, this collaboration was huge. It went for the whole month of November and will end, I believe, December 1st uh, with Rach and Bella Crafts. So definitely check it out if you haven't already. Looks like I'm running out of a little bit of water here. We'll just spread some more. The more water that you do, the more dilute your ink will get and the more um, watercolor-like it will be. Now I'm using Distress um, Oxide Ink and Distress Ink. The Distress Oxide Ink will be um, a little more oxidized looking. That's why it's called Distress Oxide. And the Distress Stain will be a little darker and not oxidized, So, but it still works just the same. They are both water reactive inks. And uh, for a better description and more information on the inks, definitely check out Tim Holtz. He has a website and he has a blog and he has a YouTube channel and he is definitely the best at describing his products. I have learned so much from, from Tim Holtz over the years, so. Okay, how are we doing? We're at nine. Oh, I can't, I can't wait to color this little frog. He's so cute. Now, if you're not, um, I am a Copic trained instructor for alcohol pens, but I know there can be a little bit of a learning curve and uh, some of an expense there. So if you're not good with that, this is definitely an easy way to still feel like you can color in uh, stamped images. I did stamp these with archival ink so that the black ink is archival ink. So it's a waterproof ink, permanent ink. So it's not going to smear or smudge when I put this uh, ink and water over it, which is really nice. I love that. And you could also get the same effect with like watercolor pencils or something like that. Um, but this is just super easy, super fun. Still get to feel like I'm watercolor painting. I do have a beautiful set of watercolors that my husband got for me and I use them occasionally, but this is just really fast, easy, and fun, and uses my favorite Distress colors. So whatever Distress ink you have, you can definitely use it just like a watercolor paint. Broadens your palette of paint colors that you might have available to you, 
and is super easy and just another way to use your products. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on fast forward and you guys can just watch me paint away. It is so easy and so much fun and I hope you'll give it a try. Well, everyone, I hope this has shown you just how fun and easy it can be to use your inks to uh, kind of watercolor or get some really great effects on your book page or stamped images. Uh, it definitely is relaxing and fun. And now I'm going to go ahead and go in and finish coloring, but I'm also going to start adding some stickles and allowing things to dry. So I hope this has inspired you to give it a try, break out your inks and do something new or maybe something you thought about doing but just haven't done it yet. Let me know in the comments down below if you use your inks in this way as well. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.